So, some of you guys know that these things are super brand new. And I actually designed these guys and made it. It took me about five months to build. And uh, it's pretty awesome. I love it. They're 16 by 12 and a half, negative 65, negative 80 ish or so. And they're one off. No one has them. It's, it's my original design. And they're super cool. But I also wanted to do some really cool JDM wheels that, I mean, super JDM, you might as well, right? So I had to buy a set of these Equip 40s. Now, um, I know the guys at Work Wheels Japan, and I've, I have Work Wheels on my Cayman on this side of the garage that you can't see, and I love Work Wheels. If I don't make my own wheels, I order Work Wheels. So we're gonna unbox this. Um, I waited for a while to order this, but you know, I was bored. I was just like, all right, let's just order it. Uh, these are gonna be 15s, these are 16s. I wanted 15s because I wanted to run um, wider 295 Hoosiers instead of the 285 Pirellis. These will be my kind of like street Sunday tires. This will be like my track slash canyon driving car uh, setup. So check this out. I haven't opened these. I don't even know how they look like yet. So just get one of these guys. Oh my God. Just scoot this over. All right. I'm so excited. So excited, so excited. All right. Ooh, some thick tape. Now FedEx dropped this off today and the FedEx guy is super funny. He was like, is that a 911 under there? Every Porsche lover who don't currently own a Porsche will call any Porsche a 911. <laughs> I'm like, nah, man, it's the four, it's the, the poor man's Porsche, it's the Cayman. <laughs> so, here we go. I'll get some B-roll of this later so you guys can actually see, but um, let me see if I can tilt this over so we can all see at the same time. This isn't like my other unboxing video where I had Nana here help me do it, so this is just me unboxing by myself. I feel like I'm cutting my own head off. Ooh, this is like that. Chinese box thing. It's like a box within a box. Oh God. Okay. I'm gonna flip this guy over and we're gonna dump it. Oh, look at that. Talk about protection. Well, that's awesome because I'd rather have my wheels arrive nice and perfect versus scratched up and dinged up. Not bad. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. In the midst of all the COVID scare and the protesting and rioting. This is like the one thing I'm really looking forward to. Okay. Wait, turn it over here so you guys can see what's gonna come out because I've never seen these things, so. I saw these wheels two years ago at Tokyo Auto Salon and I fell in love with them. Now, some of you guys might not like this design. Totally understandable. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me put this over here. All right. Let me put a new little box down. Look, I got a crap all over me because I don't want to scratch these wheels. Give me a moment. I got you, I got you. Take this out of the freaking bag. Oh my God. Yo, look at that. Oh my God. That's some lip, son. So I ordered the silverbacks over here and uh, polished fronts. Now the cool thing with work wheels polish when you look at their polish job, it's 
it's like a mirror. Like you don't even see any micro scratching, nothing. If you look at my hydrons, they actually have slight swirls, like metal swirls in the uh, aluminum. And that's normal if you're making custom wheels because of the polishing, but Work Wheels Japan, their manufacturing is insane. They won't even sell you a color if they've never tested it. Talking about like road tests, like heavily testing it before they even offer you the color. That's how awesome they are. So I know that this color will pretty much last the, the life of the car. Look at that. That is insane. So these are actually 15 by 12 um, negative, what's the box say? 20-ish? 20, negative 28. So that was pretty close. So it's a lot less aggressive than my hydrons right there. Way less aggressive. And I did that purposely because I want this setup to be a little bit more squared on the uh, tire profile, so not as stretched. Now my hydrons are stretched for a reason because that, that's kind of like the, the look I'm going for with that wheel setup. But for this guy, I want to do uh, less stretch but with a wider tire. So those are 12 and a halfs, these are 12s with a bigger tire. I'm gonna be using 295s and those are 285s. So as you can see, it might have a slight, slight stretch, but it's gonna be pretty, pretty square. All right, we're gonna open up this other wheel here. The cool thing, like I said, with Work Wheels Japan, they double freaking box everything. So um, if the outside box looks beat when you get your box, don't worry, your wheel's still safe. Look at this. Ooh, man. Look at this. This is how anal Work Wheels Japan is. Cover number one. All right. Cover number two. Two covers. And look at this. Oh my God. Let's put this guy over here with its brothers. Look at this. Oh, ho, ho, yeah, baby. Look at that. Now, these are the fronts, and those are obviously the rears. Now, the rears have a bigger lip because they have uh, more clearance, I mean, less clearance for the brakes. The fronts have less because of the caliper clearance. So, look at that. Damn, that looks good. So this setup right here is actually the max lip that you can get um, for the uh, setup. Um, I don't think you can actually get a deeper lip than this, uh, as far as I saw on the spec sheet. Now you might get lost when I mention A, T, or O disc, or whatever, R disc. Um, you just kind of have to go and look at their, uh, their chart, and it's pretty easy to figure out especially if you have one of the work wheels guys help you. <laughs> but there it is. There is a huge difference between the T and the A disc. A disc, T disc. Look at that. That thing is deep. Awesome. Awesome. Now, like I said before, I chose the narrower one for the front, wider on the rear, not because um, I didn't want a bigger lip on the rear. It's just because I have huge calipers on the front and they won't fit with that size. These two are actually the same offset, believe it or not. So they're both the same offset, but different disc style. So they're both negative 28, as far as I know, um, but T versus A disc. Crazy, right? A lot of people think, oh, whoa, whoa you got different offsets? But why do they look different? Well, because the disc size. Trust me, I used to be that guy too. I used to be like, what in the world is going on over here? How are you gonna have two of the same offset? But the disc difference is like Jaimungo. You know what I'm saying? So there it is. 
close-up shots. Look at that, flawless. Now, like I said before, the cool thing about Work Wheels craftsmanship, they are perfectionists. Look at that. You don't even see like any clear coat um, or clear coat, polished scratches or anything like that. If you look at my hydrons, there are actually very, very, very fine polishing marks um, that you would normally find on any raw, uh, you know, raw aluminum product. I don't know what Work Wheels does with their setup, but dude, it's insane. And they test all of their finishes. So this gold, they already know that it's gonna last forever. They won't sell you a custom color just to sell it. They test it first and then they sell it to you.